Matt Ryan in Albany. In July, the state highlighted the need for invasive species awareness with a week full of programs ranging from lectures to hikes along affected areas. We went along with the Upper Saranac Foundation in search of two examples that have created a nuisance, particularly in the North Country. The 3,000 lakes and ponds in the Adirondacks are some of the most beautiful you will find in the United States. But in some spots, what lies beneath can be pretty ugly. We are in the Upper Saranac Lake watershed today where we are in search of milfoil. This is Eurasian milfoil, first discovered in 1996. A decade later, they found this variable milfoil. Our tour guide for the day was Guy Middleton of the Upper Saranac Lake Foundation. All right, Jim, I gotta sh actually shed a layer, I think. We, along with some local homeowners, followed him out on the waters of Fish Creek Pond, part of the Upper Saranac Lake watershed. It's a popular destination for campers. The good thing is I see very little milfoil right here, <clears throat> but once we get on the other side of the bridge, I think we'll see a different story. He was right, as our camera quickly found out. Today, we went from the campground into up, up into an area where we have not managed uh, to see what invasives look, look like um, in a natural setting that are not managed. And uh, as we saw today, that uh, without management, uh, once they're established, they do take over uh, all of their native plants and um, outcompete um, any other plants and they have, there are no um, predators that will compete with them or other plants that will compete and it, it takes over the environment. The dense unmanaged Eurasian and variable leaf milfoil made paddling difficult and would deter the most diehard swimmers. This is a piece of variable leaf that is floating but in preparation and you can't see it once I take it out but it's full of roots. So the roots are already starting. See how those roots are? Those roots are in preparation to land somewhere else and start a new plant. And really the only way to see that is when it's kind of floating in the water. Variable leaf is actually taking over the Eurasian a little bit, uh, but both grow uncontrollably and uh, are creating a problem because this uh, obviously uh, hampers the recreation uh, at Fish Creek, but also is a tributary into Upper Saranac Lake and all water sources downriver. The foundation has known of the existence of milfoil here since the mid 90s, but it wasn't until 2014 that it was spotted in Upper Saranac Lake. Last year, they started a pilot program harvesting some of the densest areas in the pond, and in just four weeks, removed nine and a half tons. This stuff grows real tall. These plants in here are about four foot, multi-stem plants, and they get about that fat. So they cone up and just fall over each other. So we'll go down, find where the root ball is, dig it out with our hands, throw it in the bag. Once these bags get filled up, we'll give it to our top water, Brianne over there, and she'll bring the bag back to the boat and then give us a fresh bag to start all over again. Just keep repeating the process till it's all gone. Through a $100,000 grant from the Department of Environmental Conservation, the foundation will continue this work here at Fish Creek Pond for the next three years. Jackie Howard of the Adirondack Watershed Institute at Paul Smith College explains where your watercraft is most likely to carry these invasive species. The most common places that we find the plants are on the trailer and the wheel wells and the felt lining and also stuck on the prop of the boat. And then when we look at things like spiny water flea or zebra mussels, zebra mussels are almost always caked right along the hull of the boat. And then spiny water flea, that's why we ask people to drain their bilge and their live wells and clean those out thoroughly because they're going to be stuck in that standing water and they're so tiny, they're only a centimeter long each and they're a cartilage-based crustacean. So you're not gonna see them with your naked eye. That's why we ask them to flush and clean those out. 
There is little doubt that more people across the state know the potential danger of invasive species now than, say, five years ago. But after the education comes the need for retention and continued practice to keep these unwanted hitchhikers out of the water. The Adirondack Park um, is, a, is six million acres and there are a lot of bodies of water. And uh, so we can't, we can't have a store at every launch, but it is important that uh, people take it upon themselves to understand the clean, tr drain, dry concept. Uh, so we provide storts and decontamination uh, at, at certain areas as a courtesy, but it is ultimately the responsibility of the boaters to make sure that their equipment is, is clean. After the three-year grant from the DEC runs its course, the Upper Saranac Foundation hopes to continue the work in Fish Creek Pond. As you can see, there is a lot still left to be done. For Metro Focus, I'm Matt Ryan in Albany.